going to close my door real quick. Door is already closed. I'm an idiot. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty, so it has been a while since I've been back and recording actual uh, YouTube stuff. So bear with me if I'm a little rusty. But welcome back, guys, to Mildly Infuriating. We're going to be taking a look at this subreddit and uh, get infuriated. So let's go ahead. This was on every table at this cafe. No smoking, no fighting, no credit, no outside food, no sitting long, no talking loud, no bargaining, no change, no matchsticks, no discussing gambling, no combing, no leg on chair, no hard liquor, no address inquiry, no flirting with cashier, no sleeping, no running away. <laughs> Why would they even be running away? What is the... <laughs> I, okay. No music, no gum under table. That's reasonable. No charging point. Have no idea what that means. No laptops, no Candy Crush. Not allowed to play Candy Crush while you're uh, sitting at the cafe. Not allowed. And no free advice. Wow. They just hate people, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. That's hilarious. Came back to my college apartment this morning with my roommates having done this. Ay, 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 what in the fuck? Is that just their end table or something that their roommates just smashed? Why the hell would they do that? What did this man's do to deserve this? I don't know. That, that's definitely infuriating. Someone came in to my place, destroyed, say, the dresser that I have back here. I'd be pissed. Went to a party and found the inhabitable place the host keeps their dog. Place reeked of piss and poop. Ugh. Why? And the dog looks malnourished too. Why do people do this to their animals? Bro. Damn, that is really sad. Why do people do this to their animals, bro? I don't understand. Clean up the area, make it nice. They're a living being too. They're supposed to be part of your family. They're not just some, you know, toy or object that you just get because you're bored or want, you know, something to have fun with. Ugh, that's just disgusting. People are, people are sick came out of a restaurant and found my car like this 32 weeks pregnant there wasn't even a sliver of hope for me <sighs> why do people park like such assholes why do they look at this and say that they're good and they're fine why oh boy that is so annoying Look at, look at all the room that they had over here too. Why not just correct your parking? Why are people like this? Just why? I don't understand it. Correct your parking if it's not correct. It ain't that hard. At the minimum, it takes you less than five minutes. Less than three, probably, but I don't know. That's so stupid. A 15-year-old game, pre-owned and without a case, going for $92. Earl version. Okay. I haven't played a whole lot of the DS Pokemon games, um, but goddamn. Why is it close to $100? Did a celebrity touch it? I mean, it'd probably be worth more if a celebrity touched it, but... Just why? Why that much? What the fuck? I don't know. Guys, help. My finger is actually stuck. What the fuck do I do? Oh, no. That's the handle of a broom. Okay. I will admit I have done this before and it is a scary thing. Thankfully, it hadn't been to uh, an extent where, you know, my finger got stuck. 
I had to rip my finger out a couple times. I, I say a couple times because I did it more than once. Okay, I'm I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> but uh, it's yeah, it's not fun, especially when you uh, pull some skin off. So, ugh, that's yikes. My neighbor chucks her dog's shit over the back fence. Oh my god. Do these people not have a perfectly functioning trash bin at their house? Do they not take out their own trash or anything? Dispose of it in a trash bin. Why are you throwing it over to your neighbor's yard? Unless you have like some sort of neighbor feud going on, but like at that point, at that point, can you get the police involved? Over them throwing stuff over from their yard to yours? I don't know. But that is very ridiculous. That's so stupid. This damned question. There are one blue ball pen, one red ball pen, and one green ball pen in Lily's bag, while there are one blue ball pen and one red ball pen in Mandy's bag. A ball pen is randomly drawn from each bag find the probability that both ball pens drawn are green but there isn't a green pen in mandy's bag it can't be both it, it just can't be both because there's only find the probability that both ball pens drawn are green if they each draw from their own bag then there's just there's one green pen both are not going to be green there's one fucking green pen what the hell that is so stupid fucking i hate story questions in math i absolutely hate story questions in math i do not like them they made no sense to me whatsoever i mean they made sense but like i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to explain it they're just so dumb Alrighty, well, that's going to go ahead and do it for me on Mildly Infuriating. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, go ahead and leave a like, a comment if you want to, and subscribe, ring the bell, all that YouTube stuff that they have you do. But yeah, that'll be it for me, and thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Hey, love you from the first time you call me late. Loved you for your wits and your wicked games. Uh, yeah. Always on my mind, always in my brain. Yeah. With you, this summer came and went in a day. And I've been craving you since the first time that I sat by your side.